lot of people ask me about why Newark, but you know, when we were presented with the fact that there were so many great companies here, um, based here in this beautiful facility, we knew we had a, a great mix, but we also knew that we, we needed to enlist industry to come to Newark as well. And one of our uh, first stops, and it was interesting, they made an inbound request to us based on a tweet they saw at the same time we were making an outbound request to talk to them because we knew they were one of the most innovative companies in this space. They're one of the most innovative companies in this space that you don't really see because they're underneath everything. And it has been my real pleasure to get to know this organization and I'm really excited to introduce you to uh, this company, this very visionary CEO that is making so much happen underneath. Very proud to introduce Howard Lerman, CEO of Yext, coming up now. And I think he's got some assistance helping him with this keynote. Let's give it up for Howard Lerman and his team. Thanks, buddy. Thank you. services each have their own knowledge graph. You can't control their AI. You can't control where you are. But you can control what they know about you. You see an intelligent future where every company, where your business, has their own knowledge graph. We see an intelligent future. An intelligent future. With you in control everywhere. It's time, right now, to start your brand's intelligent transformation. Welcome to the intelligent future. Welcome to the intelligent future. Are you ready? The following is a story from the intelligent future. Hello, <laughs> I'm Howard Lerman, founder and CEO of Yext. And I founded Yext because I realized that the world was undergoing a massive platform shift with the rise of AI powered services like Siri and Alexa and Google Assistant. And that every company in the world would need a way to manage their information in these new digital services, just like they manage content on their own websites. For 20 years, the web was the centerpiece of every digital experience. But today, when you search for things, you don't get web results back. Check this out. OK, Google, how many calories are in a Big Mac? 526 dietary calories. Google just knows the answer in its own brain and tells you that's a structured result. And that's why we created the Yext Knowledge Engine, to let businesses control their knowledge in more than 150 different services in 78 languages in 160 countries around the world. So that if McDonald's goes to change the phone number of one of their branch locations or change a detail about one of their menus, they just enter it into Yext and boom, it's updated automatically on Google, on Facebook, in Apple, in the Microsoft ecosystem, even in Mandarin, even in WeChat. With more than a million and a half entities and 30 million attributes about those entities under management, Yext 
is publicly traded in the New York Stock Exchange. We have a thousand employees from Berlin to Shanghai. We are the global leader in a new field of software that we've pioneered called digital knowledge management. And boy, do we have a special story for you today. It's a story about Nick. It's a story about Sam. It's a story about Megan and Carla and CJ. CJ, by the way, is an AI engineer. Okay, from now on I will call you NLP superstar. Perfect. He's just in from Seattle. He's a coffee aficionado, he loves music, and he's just arrived at New York's Penn Station. He's trying to make his way to Newark to get to the Voice Summit conference. So how is he gonna get there? He decides to ask Yahoo. Trains to Newark. Penn Station? Why would I go from Penn Station to Penn Station? It makes no sense. Luckily in walks Sam. She's also an AI engineer. She'll drink coffee anywhere that's quick. She also knows all the lyrics to Les Mes. Excuse me, are you from the area? Oh, I'm a lifelong New Yorker. Oh, perfect. Can you tell me how to get to Newark? Oh, uh, so sorry. No idea. Can't help you. <laughs> uh, okay, Google, what time is the Yext announcement at Voice Summit? The Yext announcement is at 9 a.m. Got it. Oh, wait, you're going there too? Yeah, I like to be up on the latest voice first tech. Um, me too. <laughs> and yet I literally just saw you typing into Yahoo, which I'm pretty sure pulled up web results. <laughs> Lol. <sighs> yeah, that's embarrassing. I'm just exhausted from my red eye and I really need a good coffee. Well, as a real New Yorker, I can show you just the place. Siri, tell me the location of the nearest Starbucks. The nearest Starbucks is five minutes away. Uh, um, actually, I'm from Seattle, so... <laughs> oh my god, you don't have Starbucks there? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Closed. But Siri said it was open. I really wanted you to try their coffee. Oh, hey, look over there. Bean me up coffee. Looks local. Let's check that out. Intelligent services like Siri have three layers. Their user interface for you to engage with, their AI that decides what answer to show you, and their knowledge graph, a brain-like database that contains everything that they know about the world and how it's related. No company can control the UI or AI of the future, but any company can control what these intelligent services know about them. Oh, thank goodness you're open. Siri said the Starbucks across the street was open, but it was closed at 8 a.m. on a Wednesday. Can you believe it? Oh, well, I don't have that problem because I use Yext. If I need to do something like that, I just log on to my Yext Knowledge Manager, input the updated hours, and boom, the Yext Knowledge Engine beams that information automatically across the entire internet. Huh. This sure is a cute shop you've got. I'll tag you guys in my post. Oh, I'll take a single. There you go. Mmm, smells amazing. Wow. Can I get a large drip coffee with the triple shot? Man, how does Instagram know all of these locations? Look, there you are, beam me up coffee. Yeah, well, Yext put them there. Here you go. Mmm, mm. smells like coffee. Mm -hmm. So Yext is the engine that powers so much of the business knowledge on the internet. Now, let's say I use Alexa. Does Yex power their data? Oh, Ow! Oh, oh, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Uh, quick, beam me up some napkins. Uh, uh, it's okay. Uh, it's really, it's okay, it's okay. My arm's just, it's just turning red. And yellow. Oh, look, a rainbow. Oh, that doesn't look very good. You should have somebody take a look at that. Okay, Google, can you find me the nearest emergency room? New York Central Hospital is close by. Oh, sounds expensive. Uh, okay, Google. Find me a physician in Midtown West that can treat burns and take Cigna insurance. Dr. Harry Horskopf is 0.3 miles away. Next option. Try Dr. Taylor McDonald at New York Health, which is located on 25 West 38th Street. Would you like an Uber there? Yes, Google, and fast, faster than you've ever Ubered before. 
It's Here you go. One Uber SUV on its way. Uh, no SUV? No, uh, uh, Uber pool? Uber pool? Got it. One Uber pool on its way. Well, it was really nice meeting you. I'm, I'm sorry it turned out like this. Well, have a nice life, I guess. But you're not coming with me, NLP superstar? This is Carla. She's a digital knowledge manager at New York Health. She's responsible for maintaining and managing all the facts about New York Health hospitals and doctors. Her Yext account keeps her in control. It's a deal. Yes. We just signed an agreement with Cigna Insurance Manhattan for some of our premium physicians. Crap, now I'm going to have to update our website and digital presence to make sure everyone knows which physicians accept Cigna. Now, in the old days, this was a months-long process of reaching out to many different vendors and websites and praying for an update. But now, I just log into my knowledge graph in Yext, and everything updates automatically. A knowledge graph is a brain-like database that contains the complete set of facts about any company and how they are related. This is the screen in Yext where Carla configures the New York Health knowledge graph. She starts by defining entity types. New York Health has hospitals and labs and physicians and healthcare awareness events. Next, she defines the attributes for each of these entities. For example, a hospital has an address or a drop-off point for the ER. A physician has specialties, insurance is accepted, and photographs. Then she's got to define how all these entities are related. An event happens at a certain location. A doctor works at certain offices during certain hours. Entities, attributes, and relationships make up the complete set of facts about New York Health. That is their knowledge graph. Now it's time for Carla to tell the world which physicians accept Cigna Insurance, and so she logs in to the Yex Knowledge Manager. The Yex Knowledge Manager makes it simple for me to manage New York Health's 64 hospitals and 1,200 doctors across the internet. So first I just have to find all the doctors whose information needs to be updated. By searching within Manhattan, I can then select all of these doctors and click Edit. And then I can bulk update the newly accepted insurance for all 761 doctors in Manhattan. And boom, 761 doctors are upgraded and across the digital universe. Oh my gosh. Look at these outdated photos. We haven't used that stethoscope model in years. And he retired in 2008 to Florida. So we should probably remove this photo. And boom, it's gone. That's the X Knowledge Manager, the powerful system that lets Carla control all the facts about New York Health. Best of all, Knowledge Manager is wired into the Yex Knowledge Network so that any updates she makes are automatically synced in over 150 different services around the world. So the next time an end user asks Google or Siri a question about New York Health, they get the right answer. Carla can see all of her listings right from her Yext account. So now I want to take a look at some of these updates on some different services. Let's check it on Google. Wow, we accept Cigna now. Nice. Let's see it on Facebook. Well, hello, Dr. Niceface. Goodbye, Dr. Horsekopf. And let's check it on Siri. Siri, show me a beautiful New York Health facility. So now New York Health's facility is available at my fingertips, and everything just updates automatically. I wonder how our listings are performing. Carla can tab to the analytics section in her Yext account. Let's see what kind of traffic we're getting. So our Google customer actions are growing each week. We've received 9,217 phone calls, 9,229 website clicks, and over 9,000 Google Maps directions. It's really good to know that this is helping people find our services. You know, I think my boss would love to see how strong our performance is. I'm going to message her now. Hmm, out of office. Guess I should be running this place. With Yext Analytics, New York Health can see all the real-world patient actions happening across the digital universe. Does it hurt? It's OK. I'm just disappointed I didn't get to have more of their coffee. I'm usually in too much of a rush to care, but 
I was pretty exceptional. How much longer? I'm gonna leave Bean Me Up a review on Google. Five stars. Wake up, New York. Get out of your usual routine and try Bean Me Up Roasters. It's a revelation. The owner is really nice too. He cares about his customers. And the coffee is hot. <clears throat> really, really hot. Like, really, really, really hot. Four stars. But the coffee might be too hot. But go to this place anyway. Oh. Nick just got a ping from Knowledge Assistant. This is a technology from Yex that lets Nick keep on top of everything going on in his coffee shop without ever having to log in or download an app. This is Nick's phone. He's going to start texting with Knowledge Assistant. Oh, she left us a review. Four stars. Nice. Um, yes, I do want to respond. Okay, Sam, how's your arm? Still burned? No. You know, maybe she has a point. Maybe we should adjust our temperature. Uh, okay. Sam, thanks for the feedback. Next time, iced coffee on me. Yeah. All right. Yes, I confirm. I want to send that. Oh, I wonder if this hurts our overall rating. Let me check. What's my average rating? Come on, come on. Good rating, 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 good rating. 4.5 out of four reviews. Nice, we're up to four. Oh, one more thing. I have to update my storefront photo. All right. Let's see. So many options to choose from. Hmm, which way should we go? Drinking out of a coffee pot, watering the plants, too casual, too experimental, too formal. Ah, little head, big coffee cup. That's the one we want. <laughs> you know, with this technology, my dream of growing my local coffee business into a ubiquitous international chain is within reach. Yes! That's Knowledge Assistant, a powerful new technology from Yex that lets Nick keep on top of everything going on in his shop by simply texting with Yex. And that's Yex Reviews. Now you can hear when reviews occur and you can respond to them. Listening to your customers is the ultimate marketing strategy. Oh no! We're going to be late to the Yex announcement at Voice Summit. But you're next in line to see the doctor. Forget the doctor. I hear Yex has Broadway stars here to make a big announcement. This is Howard Schultz trying to reach Nick Nickathy of Beam Me Up Coffee. We would like to acquire your company and all of its assets for $17 million. To accept, press one. <laughs> The I don't know. I don't work. know. I love growing my own beans, roasting them, meeting my customers in the morning, and nope! The money is now in your account. Ah. Goodbye. Yes! See you beating me up, coffee! And oh, I, well, I guess now I need a wealth advisor. Okay, Google, search for a wealth advisor near me. Park Avenue Advisors. Their website is parkavenueadvisors.com. All right. I'm Megan Rich of Park Avenue Advisors. You know what gets me up in the morning? Just thinking of all the good people out there in this great big world who I haven't met yet, who have had recent windfalls and are now in need of wealth management following a major liquidity event. I am dedicated to serving the highest echelon at the highest commissions allowable by federal regulatory bodies. Nick visits parkavenueadvisors.com. He sees a free-form text box to help him search. Okay, well, I definitely need an advisor near me. So, oh my gosh, that is so many advisors. There are so many advisors in New York. Okay, let's narrow it down. Uh, how about one who has a CFP? Hmm. Huh. All right, all right, now we're getting somewhere. You know, I read that it's very important to invest in new technologies, and one of the things I'm interested in is voice AI. So how about someone who also knows 
voice AI. Huh, let's see, let's see. All right, now we're getting somewhere. And you know, I really want my advisor to be able to speak to my wife, who mostly speaks Japanese. So let's see if any of them also speak Japanese. Let's see. Hey, one match. Megan Rich speaks Japanese. Well, she sounds great. Nick was able to narrow down the list of advisors using Knowledge Search. This is a breakthrough new product from Yext. Unlike a traditional advisor finder, you type in a zip code, you get a list of nearby advisors back. Knowledge Search presents the end user with a free form text box. He can type in anything he wants. Then Yext derives the intent of Nick's query and returns a set of answers based off of the entities contained in the knowledge graph of the business. The user can click any of the answers they want and end up on a knowledge page for that particular entity. Best of all, the business is able to see the raw queries that people are typing in so they can see what their prospects and customers are looking for. Knowledge Search is a revolutionary new product from Yext. It's currently in beta. All right, well, I'm going to give Megan Rich a call. But ever since I retired six minutes ago, I hate talking on the phone. Got it. Okay, Google, unleash the bots. This is Megan Rich of Park Avenue Advisors. Hi, I'm calling to book a wealth management appointment for a prospective client. Is someone available this Saturday? Give me a second. Uh-huh, okay. What time are you looking for? 12 p.m. Uh, I don't have a 12 p.m. available. The closest I have to that is 1.15 p.m. Do you have anything between 10 and noon? That depends on what services you're looking for. My expertise is voice AI in the Japanese language. What are you looking for? Just someone who could advise about voice technologies. Okay, I have a 10 a.m. available. 10 a.m. works. Great, and what's the first name? Nick. All right, well, I will see Nick at 10 a.m. on Saturday for a meeting about wealth management. <phone rings> Nick's assistant sounds so friendly. Siri, remind me to invite Nick to the Voice Summit on Wednesday at 9 a.m. And his nice assistant, too. That's how Megan met Nick and Nick's AI bot. Oh, we made it! Just in time for the Yext announcement. Oh no, there's only single seats left. And what do you mean? Oh, I just thought, you know, we could maybe sit together. You did! Yeah, I mean, you're an AI engineer, I'm an AI engineer, you like Broadway, my hotel's on Broadway. Ooh, yeah, you know, thing is, CJ, you're a tensor flow kind of guy, and I'm a dialogue flow kind of girl. It's just not going to work out. I'm sorry, did you say tensor flow? Oh my gosh, could you look at my arm? Oh, well, I'll just prescribe a solid week of rest and no weights. You'll be fine. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad you got to see a doctor. <laughs> oh, I'm not a doctor. I'm a digital knowledge manager. Shh. I've been waiting for this day for three years. When we founded Yext a decade ago, our first publishers were City Search and MapQuest and Yahoo. And those publishers aren't the most popular publishers anymore. I mean, when was the last time you printed out directions on MapQuest? Anybody remember that? Over the past 10 years, we have continuously added new cutting edge partners to the Yext Knowledge Network. In 2012, Yext added Facebook to put you in control on their platform. In 2013, Yext added Apple so that you could control your information on Apple Maps. In 2015, we added Google to put you in control on the Google platform. And over the past couple of years, we've seen an explosion in voice search and voice activated technologies. And so Yext worked tirelessly to put you in control and structure your information in Cortana and Siri and in Google Assistant so that end users could ask questions about your business and get the right answers. One of the questions 
that people ask me. In fact, the number one question I receive from investors, from partners, and from customers is, when will Yext add the service behind the world's leading smart speaker, Amazon Alexa, to the Yext Knowledge Network? The answer is today, July 25th, 2018. Effective immediately, Amazon Alexa is now part of the Yext Knowledge Network. Updates made in the Yext Knowledge Manager will sync in Google, in Facebook, in Apple, in Microsoft, in WeChat, and now in Amazon Alexa. Today's announcement represents a quantum leap forward in Yek's mission to put perfect information everywhere. For more than a decade, Yex has innovated to put all of you and every business in control, in every device, in every language, in every intelligent service around the world, now including Amazon Alexa. We always have and we always will. Uh, wait. So Yext puts my information in Alexa? What, uh, Alexa, what time does Bean Me Up Coffee close? You don't own those assets anymore. Oh, well, thank God. Where's the nearest Mick Cafe? Uh, that must mean that my information's in Alexa as well. Alexa, what's the phone number for Megan Rich of Park Avenue Advisors? Yo, Alexa, what time is this evening's performance of Fiddler on the Roof? Alexa, why are there two Penn stations? Alexa, what's 30% of 17 million? Alexa, what is tensor flow? Alexa, is 30% Alexa, 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 can I have a D? Do you hear the people search? Searching as simply as they speak. It is the future of technology. For knowledge that we seek. When the answers you receive echo, echo the questions in your heart. There is a life about to start and tomorrow's here. Will you join in our crusade? Who will speak out and search with me? Beyond your old blue links, there is the world of NLP. And yes, we'll ensure that your info is always correct. When the information's wrong, in future bots that come along, don't be perplexed with what comes next. You can count on next. Don't be perplexed with what comes next. You can count on. Alexa, who is your newest and coolest partner? Yes!